Twenty to top. Yeah, the it all happened on a random Wednesday morning at 11 a.m. On my way back home on a seven hour road trip back to Bloxburg, when suddenly the radio went off about a, a massive hurricane. Breaking news there's a hurricane heading straight to Silicon Valley. What? Let me pull over right now. <laughs> Don't tell me this is what I think it is. <gasps> I have a flat tire. Oh my gosh. Y'all, there, there's literally a hurricane on the way as we speak right now. I'm still trying to get more information on that topic. I have a flat tire. You've literally got to be kidding me. I am seven hours away from my apartment. Now I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Y'all, I'm literally just a girl in the middle of nowhere with a van. Um, I need to find a solution and quick. First, I'm going to start off by collecting more data on the hurricane and exactly how far it is. Estimate the time frame of how much longer I have to live. <laughs> Think positively. Okay, let me open up my computer and start searching up on the internet what exactly is going on right now currents in the gulf of mexico and how they play into hurricane season it is time no one ever told me this was a massive quadruple four times the hurricanes i've ever been in oh my gosh i knew it shouldn't have gone to that farmer's market <laughs> my mind is currently in survival mode so i have no time to cry and regret my decisions i am thinking groceries currently right now i don't have a loaf of bread y'all and an orange clearly that is not enough for me to stay here for like around however long the hurricane wants to stay here it could be from a day a week so let's go to the supermarket i called triple a to come and help me out they said they can't get to me because of the freaking hurricane like bro is it that why i'm paying for this y'all i need to go to the nearest grocery store i found an aldi's like not that far away from here i hope they are open because a lot of the stores they're pretty afraid of the hurricane so they close luckily there is one right in front of me you know, make good things happen. Whatever. Okay, okay, guys. We're finally here. This, all these, first of all, is beautiful. I've never seen a supermarket like this. It says that they're open, so let's just go in. I know we're, like, in the middle of a hurricane right now. You know, like, life or death situation. But this? I... There's only one worker here. They're brave. Bro, brave. There's no one in here. I thought that would be, there was going to be, like, people, like, you know, scrambling all over the place. Like, I need water. You know, but they're not. Guess that's better for me. Anyways, what do I need to survive a hurricane? I've been through hurricanes before, but like in a van? Never have I ever been in a hurricane in a van. I, uh, yeah. Cereal is a must, right? We got some looking charms, some cinnamon toast crunch, Roros, Crispix, cornflakes, Fruit Loops. I believe you can never go wrong with some cinnamon toast crunch. So that's exactly what I'm going to be adding to my cart today. Yay! Now, fruits and vegetables. This is a hurricane we are talking about. I don't believe we need these specifically, but mm, I will take some oranges, I guess. I won't lie. Let's take one. Let's put it in the cart. Canned food is a must. Yes, definitely diced tomatoes, sliced peaches. Mm, yummy. More diced tomatoes. More diced tomatoes? I guess we're getting stocked up with tomatoes, but there's also some sliced pears. What is this? But I'm taking that. Canned food is a must. We really have no time to waste, so right now I am currently in the bread aisle. Definitely gonna try to find some sour bread because I know if I'm gonna be stuck in a hurricane and I can leave the van for like three days, I want some sour bread in my system. Yo, they got strawberry mini donuts? Sign me up! Right now, I need those. I know I said we were coming on here for bread and essential needs, but y'all, strawberry donut is a need and an essential. Survival guide too. Mm -hmm, it's in the survival guide lectures. Bagels, gonna take some bagels. And there's so many like bread selections. I'm going to take this one. Original white traditional bread. Yes, please. Thank you. So right now I am in the dairy and frozen aisle. We got ice cream, which probably can melt because my freezer might not be working. Orange juice, milk. <gasps> we got water. Yes, we're gonna need water. Also, we're gonna need block seeds for energy. That's pretty much all we're gonna take from here. So let me grab those stuff. I'm just gonna take some water because water is essential. Some block seed, very much for energy. Because what happens if I'm tired? You know, block seed always just gives me the boost. I think we're ready to check out. So let's go check out. Maybe a Roblox gift card. You never 
no. Okay, no, I'll be I'll stop joking around now. Like I actually I'm gonna start paying because this is something serious and I don't know why I'm not taking it seriously. Baby, I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere in a van with a flat tire during a hurricane. Oh my god. I wanna believe IO1 is open, please. Or check out whatever you want to call these y'all. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Here are my items. Hand them fast. The hurricane is coming. Have you heard about the hurricane, sir? Hi there. All right, that should be $100. What? $100? You know what? It's fine. There you go, sir. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I just got scammed. Thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> After I did some damage to my credit card, I just wasted $100 at the supermarket. Here's my little shopping spree in the middle of a hurricane. I've literally got no time to be showing you guys these things, but you know what? We're, we're almost still gonna do it for you. I got a lot of block seeds, like I said, because if I run out of energy, I'm going to need to have some energy. Lots and lots of water. I went looking around my van to see any emergency things they had in store. I found this floaty, and I know I'm be like, girl, you do not need a floaty for a hurricane. You really never know. You, you really never know, okay? We don't know what tortilla got up her sleeve you don't know if she can make us go into a flood or dry us all out besides the point i also decided to stock up on some blankets because my van is generated by power so like my power won't go out but if it does my heater's gonna go out and you, yeah i'm gonna be freezing to literally death at that point i also did not forget to stock up on some toilet paper also got myself my first aid kit i know it's humongous but trust me bandages are my best friend like yes it could fix a broken arm in my books a fire extinguisher just in case hurricane tortilla wants to you know set up fires i mean i don't know why that would happen but you just you just never know electricity and water don't mix together uh, y'all it's survival mode we don't I, I don't know flat tire hurricane tortilla and possibly a fire we just don't know better be late than sorry that's not it though i've also got some sandbags to surround the van with like an extra coat of protection and lastly some wood let's become bob the builder and barricade my van for hurricane tortilla because my windows are very fragile got my toolbox and let's go hey i forgot the wood let me rip some of this like <laughs> So a little update, it's raining now. And according to the news, Hurricane Tortilla is only around a couple minutes away from me. So I really need to start heading into my hibernation mode. They recommend that you turn off all electricity, stay inside, have food and water. It's pretty much all we can do to be, you know, safe. Don't know though if my van could possibly fly away. It is way over like a thousand pounds though. So I really highly do doubt that, but we just don't know with Hurricane Tortilla, you know. Let me go ahead and close the doors now and just head straight into hibernation mode. I I'm honestly terrified. I've been through multiple hurricanes, but I'm always in an apartment or under a shelter. But this time, I'm in a van. Yeah, a vehicle. <laughs> great, great. I'm finally all nice, snuggled in and secure in my van. At least I think and I believe I am. From now on, I'm going to be doing hourly updates or whenever something interesting happens. In the meantime, since I still do have power, I'm going to be watching my favorite YouTuber, Ron none Ron other than Aranzo Romero. I made sure to download all of her videos so I can go ahead and watch them if I do end up running out of Wi-Fi. At the same time, I also am using this power generator here in the van to charge up my phone and my extra batteries. This is like one minute into the hurricane hurricane tortilla so far the outside is looking pretty chill and like normal regular rain hour three you guys i'm taking my first water bottle <clears throat> water tastes so delicious and i'm so glad and grateful that i have enough water for myself to stay myself for like around five days pretty chill pretty chill the weather has gotten a little bit more rougher i do hear like rougher winds making it a little bit more scarier for me it's almost about to be bedtime so i probably should start heading to bed i really got nothing else to do like i would have been home by now but everything happens for a reason and for a reason i am stuck here not me being more motivational and like poetic <laughs> i know huh? i'm such a poetic or person or i don't know yeah I guess I'll just continue watching some Aranza Romero in the meantime. Do I need it though? 
Yeah, the lights. Not kidding, the lights just went out. I don't know what it was. Oh my gosh. And I did hear like a rock hit like where my power generator is at. So probably that's the reason. Oh my gosh, y'all. It turned completely dark now, y'all. I'm actually really scared because I'm in the middle of nowhere. It's dark. It's raining. It's a hurricane. My lights just went out. I do luckily have a candle. So let me turn that on. Okay, that brings some light in here, y'all. Happens when my candle runs out because that's the only one I have. Anyways, I think it's time for bed. So I'm just gonna start heading into bed and just sleep it out. I hope I'm going to be okay. I think I will. The news says that this hurricane seems to be going on for two more days. So I really hope that's not true and that they're lying to me. That it's over by tomorrow. It all seems like a very just like bad nightmare. We'll get through this. We'll get through this. Hold up, I can't see anything. What was that noise? Oh no. Yeah, it's currently like 2 in the morning. I fell asleep around 11, so it hasn't even been that many hours that I went to go to sleep. And I just like the van is just constantly moving and shaking and I'm like getting scared. My candle is completely out and I don't even know what I'm gonna do. The hurricane does not seem to stop. It just keeps getting stronger and stronger. And I got an alert that potential floodings and like your houses with sandbags and stuff like that. Luckily, my van is above, so it's not touching the floor. I just woke up to check up on what was going on. So far um, i have no light anymore i'm gonna go back to bed and i'll catch up with you guys later in the morning oh my gosh when is this gonna be over good morning y'all it is currently six in the morning i haven't checked outside but there was like so much wa <gasps> What is that? You guys, there's a leak in my van. Oh my gosh. Hold on. That just means the alt has to be worse, sir. Oh my gosh. When did this happen? It's literally completely flooded. Oh, y'all, this is absolutely crazy. And this is just day two. I've drank most of my water, which I know is probably not the best thing to do, but I was just really thirsty. I still have a whole other box of water, so we should be fine. But you guys, what the actual... I am so tired too, so I'm going to take a Bloxier to refuel some of my energy. Yeah, the news keeps saying that this thing is just gonna keep getting worse and I don't know whether to believe them or not, but I guess I could just keep sleeping it through. I just can't sleep peacefully because I know like there's a hurricane on going right now and the winds and yeah, I'm just really scared and I'm hoping that none of my windows break. I'll pick up the camera when there's another update. Today is day four, y'all. I've literally been basically in quarantine for four days because of this freaking hurricane tortilla. All of my water is gone. I only have two water bottles left, one Bloxade left. But the good news is, you guys, we made it through. Finally, the hurricane warnings have been lifted. Sun, though, shining brighter than a diamond, baby. These last couple of days, which I basically spent four days in this van, have been not the best. I was very glad and happy that I am alive. I remember day three was especially very, very cold because I guess that was like the peak of Hurricane Tortilla. It was like absolutely no bueno. Yeah, you guys, I'm here to inform you guys that I made it through and I'm finally heading home. A AAA company is gonna finally come and help me tow this truck to the nearest repair shop so I can finally start driving it back. Also gonna fix the leaks. Like I did have a leak in my van. Other than that, you guys, I gotta get moving because I gotta go back home because I have a lot of important business to take care of, especially for a four day delay. Yeah, I love you guys all so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please consider subscribing. It is totally free. As well as liking today's video, commenting down below what's your favorite part of today's video, sharing this video with anyone you know may enjoy these types of videos. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms. It will all be linked in the description. Credits. I don't want to butcher their name, so I'm not going to say it, but for letting me use their Aldi. It's literally amazing. So beautiful. I love it. Go follow them on all their social media links. Their links will be down in the description as well. Remember, guys, I love you guys all so much, and God loves you as well. That's the end of Van Life. I hope you guys enjoyed van life. I know I did. Back to reality and back to normality. Bye, guys.